It's time to lift things up off the work plane. So in Tinkercad and other 3D design programs, you have an X and Y axis, which runs the length and the width, but we also have a Z axis, a third dimension. And sometimes we wanna lift things into space. Let's start by dragging in a couple of objects. We'll have a cylinder and a cube. And we're going to raise this cylinder up off the work plane using the Z-axis uh, translation tool. That's this little cone at the top. So click on the cone, hold down, and start dragging up. You'll see two numbers appear. The bottom number tells you how far off the work plane you have traveled. And the top number tells you how far you've traveled on this specific trip. <laughs> if I click off of the object and then click on again and hit that translation tool again, you'll see the top number is showing us how far down we have traveled this time, and the bottom number still shows us how far off the work plane we are. Now, if I want to set this cylinder on top of this cube, I need to find out how tall the cube is. So click on the cube and click on the height square, which is the top one, and it shows 20 millimeters, okay? So I'm gonna click back on my cylinder and go to the translation tool and drag it up until I'm 20 millimeters off of the work plane. You see that bottom number down here is 20 millimeters. All right, to line these up, we're gonna to go to a top view and flatten it out so that we can easily stack these objects. And if we've done it correctly, back in our 3D view, we should be able to look around and see that that cylinder is sitting right on top of the cube. All right, have fun raising the roof or the cylinder. We'll see you in the next video.